Welcome to Leona Light. We are beginning our series. Uh, we're furthering our series toward the uh, tail end of it. We're in Second Peter now. Uh, prophetic messaging, and then uh, I think March and, and April we're gonna call the series. Uh, Levator, le, revelatory power. Now we're going to go into Second Peter. We had just cleared. Uh, we had just cleared uh, First Peter. So now we're going to read the first four verses of Second Peter and, and discuss this further. Chapter 1, verse 1. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God, our Savior, in our, uh, okay, like precious. And maybe uh, equally precious is what it says. In the original Greek. Uh, and then in the footnote it says. Uh, of our God and Savior. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we have righteousness through him. Verse 2. Grace, be, grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Through the knowledge of God. And of Jesus our Lord. According as he, his divine power, hath given unto us all things, all things, okay, that, that implies exaltation, that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us. Okay, they have called us through glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Having uh, escaped the uh, corruption that is in the world through lust. Now that's that's something. And, and and let's talk about this for a short while, okay? Let's talk about this. We have a quest for godlyhood, for godlyhood in the church, for godhood in the church. Now we are not gods yet, okay? Listen to me. Listen to me. And hear me out. We're not gods yet. <laughs> we can't control weather on the planet. Okay, I'm looking out here. Express Texas. We, we got snow. Snow is... Let me open the door. Listen, snow is pelting down here in West Texas. And it is crazy. <laughs> but we have a chance for godhood. We have a chance... For Godhood and how? It's obvious. By living in godliness. By living in godliness. God calls us through so much more. Yes. We have an our righteousness in Christ. But. We are still called to live a righteous life and to act and not be acted upon. That's just, that's just something that I firmly believe in. Okay? Now listen. This is why I'm here. Because I care about you. And I want the very best for you guys. God calls us to be all that we can be 
And he calls us to have this strength. I'll be honest with you. It makes sense to heed the warnings of the, of the prophet. You think about Noah. He knew the Lord told him there was going to be a, a flood. He built, this is what we're studying this weekend, come follow me. He built an all ark. Um, you know, of, of uh, gopher wood, you know. Worked on it for 120 years. People were laughing, and oh, it's not going to rain, you know, just craziness. No one understood. Can you imagine how Noah felt? Noah was warning the people on the way up to the day when he had to close the door to the ark, and then all of the sudden... Forty days and forty nights of this. <laughs> Think about that. Forty days and forty nights of this. Don't you think about that? Rain. The earth was flooded. The earth was baptized. And people perished. All because they did not heed the warnings of, of the prophet. It's important that we, we listen to our prophet. I believe that President Nelson is is um, a prophet of our Lord. I Personally, I, mean, I have understood some of the changes that he has made. But they have been regardless to our good. And so that's something that we can look at and rejoice over. Okay? Now I hope you enjoy listening to Leahona Light. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Leahona Light family. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Remember who you are. Read your scriptures. And by all means, please, 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 preach the gospel. Take care, and God bless.